Men across the UK have traditionally prided themselves on their ability to tinker under the bonnet of a car. But it seems that these days it may be more a case of blokish bravado than mechanical know-how, as new research commissioned by Crucial.com has found that a quarter of men say that even a simple task, such as changing the oil in their cars, would bamboozle them, and 38% say they're perplexed by the idea of checking the clutch fluid. There really is no reason not to know how to check stuff on your car and you'll only look sad if you can't check your screen wash or your brake fluid or your tyres. So here you are, three simple Wilson tips. Screen wash, you need to know how to put concentrated screen wash in and here it is, it's blue. Open it, it's got a picture of a windscreen, put the stuff in there, there you go. Brake and clutch here, take it off, have a look in there. If the fluid's low, you'll see it. You just pour it in and you can get all that information from the internet. How worn are my tyres, you ask? You have no idea. Well, all you need is the 20p piece. You stick the 20p piece in the tread of the tyre and if you can still read the letters around the edge, your tyre's legal. Now, as much as I like to think my car knowledge is up to scratch, like many blokes, I'm definitely not comfortable tinkering under the lid of my computer. When it comes to technology, it appears that men are struggling even more, with over half of them admitting to finding upgrading their computer hard drive confusing, and over a third of men claiming that they would be baffled by upgrading their computer memory. Dave, there will be people out there watching saying, this is completely beyond me, I do not want to open this laptop and all the bits come out. Why do people find upgrading their computer's memory so daunting? I think you know one of the reasons that people find it most daunting as well is that they just don't really know how to make their computer faster. You know, lots of people struggle with slow computers. Uh, and, and really, it's, it's ultimately about um, just, just making a sim simple upgrade. So, to someone who's going to uh, do this for the first time, what tips would you give them? Well, one of the first things that you can actually do is visit a destination like crucial.com um, where you can plug in the, the details of your, your computer or you can take yourself through their simple upgrade tool which is called the system scanner um, and it will tell you exactly which piece of memory module you'll need for your computer. All right, Dave, show us exactly how it's done. Upgrade the memory of that laptop. Well, the first thing you need to do, Quentin, is just make sure you remove the plug. Once you've done that, as we turn over, um, you'll see uh, a very simple clip switch there and we'll remove the battery. So that's your, your power gone to, to your laptop. Then we need one of these. Uh, simple screwdriver which will unscrew all the screws. First thing you need to do is make sure that you ground yourself, you earth yourself. So touch any metal part of the uh, of the casing, so we'll t then take the uh, the memory module out, um, and what we need to do is just to make sure that one we don't touch any of these gold plated ends of the the memory, and then all we need to do place this memory card and put it into this secondary slot. Make sure that you line line the uh, the, the memory module up the because notch, the there's a little there. notch yeah, in there, so yeah. a bit of a guide. So all you have to do put it in at a forty five degree angle slots in like that and then all you have to do is push down and it will clip into place. Simple, ridiculously simple, that's taken us what? Uh, two minutes max? Exactly, exactly. So whether it's checking your motor's vital fluids or changing the memory in that underperforming laptop, you need to man up and actually give it a go and when you do, you will find out that it is easier than your wildest imaginings. Trust me, Start being curious and fixing stuff. <laughs>